Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. Thank you for sticking around after the video. I appreciate it. I just want to take a few moments to discuss the model a little bit more in depth for anybody that might be interested or thinking about building this. This U-boat I put together about a year ago and it's really my first submarine kit that I did. I wanted to do a U-boat after doing a couple of airplanes. And as far as the fit and everything, everything fit together really well. The hull fit together great. The deck up here fit really well. I think I used a little bit of filler in between the hull and the decking where the tower was at, but very minor stuff. The only thing that's a little bit finicky for perhaps a beginner would be some of the things on the structure here. Some of the guns are a little small and finicky and also if you want to get rid of those seam lines, I remember doing a, a fair amount of cleanup on those. Also the flag and back here, the propeller, as you can see, there is a bit of a structure there. Nothing that can't be overcome by a beginner modeler if they just take their time. Uh, so that went together really well. One of the things that I also added on here is the rigging and the rigging I have to say, after using Easy Line, if I were to do this build again or a similar submarine build, I would use Easy Line for this. This is actually stretch sprue. So I took sprue and I stretched it and I got the lengths pretty much correct. Well, they are correct because they're on there. And I have to say that looking back at this from a year ago, I'm Kind of impressed I was able to do this because knowing what I know now, I would probably go the easy line route. Uh, as you can see those little objects on there, I actually used a uh, tack for that, sticky tack, and then I painted them black. If I were to do this part again, I would probably use milliput to do those. Um, but yeah, the flag, I it was a decal and I took that off and I, Put that in aluminum foil and then I use super glue to basically get that effect to where it's blowing in the wind and uh, yeah that worked out pretty well also there are parts on here that are movable this apparatus here moves back and forth as well as the periscopes it's kind of hard to get it to come out but as you can see that comes out um, I thought about maybe gluing that into place, but for now, it's loose. Um, that's another thing that was a little bit finicky, was trying to get this um, into the part because there's little nubs that can have it go up certain lengths, and that didn't fit perfect, but very minor complaints about this. I also did a fair amount of weathering on this, as you probably saw in the video. Um, I added rust, salt streaking. I used AK products to do that. Happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, it was my first go at using a lot of these, so. All in all, uh, very good kit, very enjoyable. Something that, again, I recommend if you're interested in doing a U-boat, Ravel makes this one and it's a, it's a pretty good kit. Um, I would probably like to do another one in the future and maybe use this one in a diorama piece. Uh, that's an idea that I might decide to do. But anyways, uh, thanks a lot again for taking a look at the video. I actually have a Twitter now. You can follow me. It's at Joe K Models. And I'm going to be trying to post some more pictures on there and uh, some more information and news about my build. So feel free to follow that if you'd like. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.